Hello and welcome. My name is Marshall and in this video we we'll look at the process of adding a live search feature on your DV header. So this is the default uh, functionality of the DV search feature that is available um, in the DV theme header. You tap on it and it will give you an option to type in and then here you will be able to type in your terms and the result will be displayed on the next page. Our goal will be to add a search box which will display results in real time. So that would be a live search. Let's see how we can do that. First, we need to use uh, the available functionality in the DV theme that will let us display an icon anywhere on the website. So uh, we have, uh, you can just Google this term and you will be able to land on this page and grab this code. So uh, this is something that we will be using on our navigation and I have already copied it. So this is the ID which I have inserted within this code and this is uh, for the search icon so I'm just going to copy uh, this whole thing and paste in the menu so let's go and create a menu first I'm going to use custom link use hash here paste the link and add to menu so here it is I'm just going to save it and see how does it appears So here is our search icon that is now available if we tap on it nothing happens the DV is still there so what I will do is that I will just go and disable the default uh, search icon that is available from the customizer area so appearance and then go to customize once you're there you need to go to header and navigation header element show search icon will be turned off so that we just have one icon here In the next step we will go to the library and add a search box so the search box will be DV Ajax search functionality which is available in the DV plus plugin so let's do that I'm going to DV library I'm going to add new here I will just select a module so by default it's module and I will call it my live search form anything you prefer and hit submit button so at this point of time we are creating a layout that just one module will that will be saved in the DV library so I'm just going to add DP Ajax search and uh, I can customize the things that I would like to display in the search box set up the number of search results to display order by or anything that that's required as power setting so search in title excerpt content search what so all of the above display display title excerpt and if it's a product display the price as well so let's take it all in general and this is what we have now I'm just going to save it and come out of it in the next step we'll come back to the site and we'll discuss some of the basic things that need to be implemented in order to connect these two things that we just did we added an icon and then we added a search box in the new library how to connect it we would add something um, that will display the search box and in order to do that we need to have a model so we have a model in the DB plus plugin that will let you display a library item I'm going to the dashboard and I'm going to the DV theme builder we need to make uh, this model execute or run on all the pages if you have a DV theme builder uh, based uh, header or footer you will be able to implement it and that's recommended if you do not have it we have another video on our YouTube channel uh, which will let you get an idea in that video we have displayed how you will be able to trigger a pop-up if you if you have not used a DV4 theme builder so let's assume that you have one so you can have other elements in your footer you could include other things which you prefer to have and at the end just include DP model this is coming from the DV model pop-up plugin uh, and the DP model it is from the DV plus plugin so I'm just gonna use DP model 
So I got the DP model here and now it's the time. We'd like to have the trigger type that would be an element. Trigger element type will be a class or we could also add an ID. So I'm just going to take a quick look here. The code that we inserted in the menu, it's, it says that we need to use an ID here or we have an ID assigned to this. So trigger my pop-up. I'm just going to copy this. And what is the ID? I'm just going to paste it here. So now every time this ID is clicked, the pop-up will be triggered. And uh, I'm now going to model body. What would be the body? Uh, what will what, need, what we need to display in the body? We'll pick it up here. And in this case, we just build the search form. So let's pull up that search form, my life search form, and save it. We have not done any customization. We have not done not done anything. We just trying to connect the things. Once it start working, we'll look at the customization options available for us. So I'm just going to take a look at the page and see how the results are. I'm going to visit the site. As you can see here, the results are being displayed, but it's not in a full view. So we just need to make some amendments and that will let us have the layout work as expected. I'm going to edit the global footer. So here is the editor and I'm just gonna make some changes. The first thing uh, I would like to uh, make here is a little change in the background. So let's try to add a background. I think I'll just go for a black overlay. I'm going to set up a size for the model. So let's say a model size and alignment. I'm going to get the model placed in the center. And uh, let's say I would like to go for 50% width on the desktop. Uh, the height will be 50%. Let's save it. So as you can see here, we have displayed the search box. The background looks like a little dark here. So I'm just going to scroll and then trigger it again. The overlay is visible, that is the dark overlay. If you type anything here, it will be displayed right in the search box and you will be able to uh, click on it and navigate to that page. We also have control to display background image as an overlay. So if you like to do that, um, you will be able to just go to the modules um, settings and then go to, um, go to background. You just need to pick an image here. And uh, we have a gradient here. You would like to just, if you like to add gradient, that's possible as well. And place gradient over the background image. When you reload the page, the search box will be like this. So let's take a look for Lorem. And here are the results related to Lorem. If you like to make some changes, you can go to the DV uh, library and make uh, those changes. Perhaps we can try that right now. This is our layout. I'm going to edit in the library. I would like to display uh, the results in, let's say, two columns in masonry. I would like to show the scroll bar. And on the design tab, we'll go for some permitting, let's say, search field. So if you like to make anything special here, that's possible. If you like to make things a little bigger, look a little bigger, the padding would help here. So 20. 20. Now it's time to go to the page and um, let's say you would like to perform a search. Just tap it. The search box is bigger as we set it up and uh, now it is time to type uh, our search term and the result will be displayed as per our new setting.